Question 8.2.2 looks pretty interesting. I'm sitting and I'm busy looking at this question now and I think it's going to be best for us to start on the right hand side just because that one looks a little bit more complicated. So then usually what we do when we have the sin 2x, we always want to use the double angle for that one. And so from our formula sheet, we know that that's going to expand into this. And so that's going to give us 2 sin x cos x plus 1. Then at the bottom, I'm going to expand this bracket out. Um, so it's two brackets. And then we'll go multiply that bottom part out. So it'll give us sin squared x plus, eventually this will give you 2 sin x cos x and then plus cos squared x. So this is actually something very interesting that's happening now. Because what we're going to notice at the bottom is that that's just going to equal to 1. So at the top we're going to have 2 sin x cos x plus 1 over 1 plus 2 sin x cos x because the sin squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. You know, from grade 11, um, it's a grade 11 identity. And so, can you see that the top and the bottom are actually the same? They, they're exactly the same. So I'm actually just going to cancel all of that out and just say that the final answer is equal to 1. Then what I think we should do is we just go work on the left-hand side. Let's just go work on the left-hand side, which is sin of x plus 45 over the cos of x minus 45 and we're going to try simplify that to make it equal to 1. Now this is a compound angle and we also have a compound angle at the bottom and so there they are. So the first one is sin x plus 45 so that's this one so that's going to become sin x cos 45 plus cos x sin 45 and then this one here at the bottom we're going to expand using this over here and so that's going to become cos x cos 45 plus sin x sin 45. Now what we can do is go change these cos 45s and sin 45s. If you had to look on your special triangles, both sin 45 and cos 45 are both going to be 1 over square root 2. So I'm going to change this now to 1 over square root 2, or first I'll say sin x, and then 1 over square root 2, then plus cos x times 1 over square root 2, and then at the bottom we'll get cos x times 1 over square root 2 plus sin x times 1 over square root 2. And then that's just going to give us 1 over square root 2 sin x plus 1 over square root 2 cos x and then I'm just going to switch these two things around so you'll get the sin x in the front we, because when you plus the order doesn't really matter right like that and then everything's exactly the same at the top and the bottom and so we just cancel out completely and so that's equal to 1 and so then we can say left hand side is equal to right hand side. So let's quickly summarize what we did. We started working on the right hand side and we got to a final answer of 1. So then what we decided was okay well then let's just go work on the left hand side as well and we did that, we did that, we used our compound angles and we eventually got that that was also equal to 1. So sometimes, uh, to be honest, I've only seen this happen like maybe four or five times in my whole tutoring career, but sometimes you might have to work on the left and the right hand side.